Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It's Danny and Bob. And we are back with another video on the farm. So while Bob is off checking on the irrigation, that is, oh, he's already gone down there at the lake. I wanted to show you guys just how much we have already pulled out of the ground. So all of this here is soya, all of this. So this was sitting on just about one hectare, a little less. That was all here, if you remember. So it's quite a lot. And then over here in this pile, we have our red beans and they're still starting to bring them down. Like they're still bringing them down. So this is probably about half. If you can see Bob over there walking down to the irrigation, it's pretty loud. So over here is all of our red beans. They're still bringing them down from all the way up at the top of the land. And then here we have all of our yellow beans. I know there's probably like more actual names for these beans, but I can't really pronounce them. So I'm going to keep get red and yellow beans. So over here is all of our yellow beans. It's quite a lot. And as you can see, they are super dry. Of course, the one I pick up is not super dry. Oh, yes, it is. They're super dry. So all we're going to have to do really today is we're going to bring three people three big strong people and they're gonna be just like whacking these beans until all of the beans come out to the ground and then we collect them we sort through them to make sure all of the like random bits and bobs come out until we're left with just beans we're gonna buy some sacks and fill them up and then I'm so excited to see just how many kilos of beans and soya we get this is our first time and like i've said a few times we did plant late like a month late so that is going to affect our harvest nonetheless i'm very happy with what we have harvested so far it is much more than what i thought and what most people thought so stay tuned now it's about eight o'clock and they have to wait until it's pretty hot outside to start whacking on the beans. They want it to be hot to get it you know, as dry as possible. So we're probably gonna do it around 12 or one in the afternoon. So we're gonna come back and film that for you guys. But now, if I'm already here, I thought maybe I'd show you guys around since we've had so many, so much action with the pigs lately. Oh, here are our little turkeys, our little madam. We've had so much action with the pigs lately that I'd show you what's going on. Where are they? Ah, uh, so here we have some of our piglets. There are about 10 here. So they're from the first two births. Did we film them? I'm not sure. So these guys are about a month old. So we separate them during the day and then they go and you know feed from their mothers a few times a day and we bring them back just because when they stay with their mothers and we feed them the mothers don't eat and they start losing weight so we separate them also this way they learn to feed on their own and then I'm gonna take you guys over here they still haven't cleaned the pens yet because two of our farmers had to take our children to school today um, so they're still not here so don't mind the mess but I'm gonna show you guys anyway so this is Alice. You all remember Alice from our video. So her piglets are huge and they're doing so well. There's nine of them. I mean, these guys are about two weeks old and they're almost the size of the other ones I showed you. So that's pretty cool. And this mama pig here, she has, oh, she has three, but one of these guys belongs to Alice. I think they've made their way over. Oh, or over there. We have to close up this wood. So that's another project we need to do. So when we were constructing this pig house, we didn't really take into consideration how small these piglets are. That's my bad. So we are probably gonna end up buying iron sheets and just blocking the lower part so the pigs can't, number one, get out, number two, get through to other mama pigs, which can be a little bit dangerous at times. So that's what we're gonna do. Sad story, if I'm already here. So one of our mama pigs, it was about two days ago, 
she was going into labor, she was full term, and I'm not entirely sure what happened, but she had 10 piglets, 10 were born, and eight were stillborn for some reason. And then the two surviving pigs, only one of them survived, so one of them died the next day. So the vet is still trying to figure out what went wrong. We think that it has something to do with the male pig that she was mated with, that we had here at the farm and we bought it locally and we also bought this pig locally so maybe there was you know some inbreeding going on that we were not too sure about so that could have been the reason but i will show you so she has one but another pig has made its way through but that's fine so poor little mama pig she has one little teeny tiny pig right there the last surviving pig and he's doing okay a little bit small he is a little bit small so i'm not too hopeful but we're trying where the vet is giving him some medicines and vitamins trying to keep him strong and we'll see what happens there so our last mama pig i told you it's been super busy our last mama pig here is this one she has five all doing well all growing nicely as you can see, super cute. So we have three more pigs that are due to give birth this month. And then we have our next round that I'm super excited about that were mated with our new, like superior breed. I'm not sure, um, but it's like an imported breed. And they are all gonna start giving birth Two months from now so they're all a month and a half pregnant now so that's gonna be very exciting so now that i've rambled on about my pigs for the past few minutes i'm gonna go and find bob i just wanted to take this few minutes to talk about the pigs while he was down there trying to see what's going on with irrigation which is not really my area of expertise but i'm trying to learn so I'm gonna go and find him. So I wanted to show you guys just how much land we removed the beans from. So all of this here was the yellow beans. All of this, all of this. And now we're switching to the red beans. As you can see here, they're still removing them. <laughs> they're still removing them and then it just continues all the way up to the top so everyone is working super hard trying to finish it today all right everyone we've made a quick pit stop at the nursery. Bob is super shy today, I'm not sure why. I'm not super shy, I'm just... Super shy. <laughs> why? No, I'm joking. So Bob's super busy today, that's why. Some days he's a little more shy than others. Anyway, right now we're at the nursery and today is... Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So today is not technically the first day of school, tomorrow is, but today we're doing an orientation for all of the parents. So they're gonna come with all of their kids me and Bob and our like headmistress, if you want to call it, and our school nurse from my dad's school, and a few other people are all going to come, and we're going to do like a talk, talk a little bit with them about this nursery, our project, about hygiene, positive parenting, stuff like that. And then we're going to hand out all of their little uniforms and shoes and stuff like that, and just, you know, tell them about the nursery, Prepare them for tomorrow for the first day. So now we're setting up all the chairs. It's so adorable. <coughs> so the parents are gonna sit on the chairs. And then we also have these mats for the little kids. And I'm just so happy. I can't wait to see all the little kids in their uniform. That's really what I'm waiting for. So I'm gonna go and help them set this up. I just wanted to show you guys and give you guys just a little taste of what's to come. We are gonna post this nursery in a part one and part two of like how the whole thing started and just the story behind it. So if you guys are interested in that,
stay tuned. Anyway, enough talking. I'm super excited today, guys. So I'm sorry if I'm talking too much. That's just what I do when I get excited and happy. I've been waiting for this for so long. Bob, yeah, you want to say something? Super excited. I'm super excited. That's what I can say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you in the afternoon when we come back for the bean harvesting. Yeah, as you see, we here just hitting the beans with the workers, which is we call it here in Rwanda, Guhudi Vishimbo. And uh, after this hitting of the beans, we're gonna sort of like separate it with the... Yeah, from all like the dirt and the sticks and yeah. the leaves and stuff. And, uh, and then we put it in, in the same sack, so which is the, when we figure out the, like... The weight. The, the weight and also the, 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 the product, the produ what produ produced. Our, pro our produce, yeah. Yeah, what we produced. Yeah. yeah. So, Danny and I are gonna be also be participating in this bins as we going to help it's these really, people really around. Just the stick itself <laughs> weighs like 20 kilos. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's really difficult, but it needs also more energy. All right. Like, Fine, but Danny is gonna try. I will do it. You wanna say something about it? <laughs> <laughs> I know something. everyone's gonna be laughing. Yeah, they're gonna be laughing, but say something for that. Because I built it up for too long. I should have just come with the stick and started. How do you feel wagging. about it? I'm nervous because you know I know at, like once or twice it's easy, but then it starts getting difficult. Yeah. I'm gonna do it though. Okay, the, guys, this way sit down and hitting the bins. Okay. <laughs> okay, wait. You wanna start? Which stick should I use? You can use whatever. Decide whatever stick you want to use. That one is the super heavy. <laughs> okay. Bob, how's it going? I've run away. I've run far away. That was really, really difficult. I'm not gonna lie. That was really hard. I have a lot of respect for these these workers here. Because that's a really difficult job. Oh, my dad has come to say hi. <laughs> You see how difficult it is? Yeah. <laughs> wow. I think I think we're gonna let the professionals do their job now. Oh you did more than me. I'm proud. I'm going to go and say hi to my dad. Abba, come and say hello. Huh? Everyone's just watched you now. Okay. <laughs> so, Bobby, you want to explain what she's doing? <laughs> you could probably explain better than me. It's kind of explaining to everyone that that's all I can say. It's well, after you're hitting the beans, which we call Guhula, you should like a mission in the I mean, uh, area. So, yeah. this is what the next step we do, like we call it Kugosora, yeah. where we use separate like uh, this beans, ashes, and the beans on, so I can put in a sack. That's how, that's what she's doing now. Yeah. So, basically, we're just trying to separate the beans from all the other stuff. Yeah. And so after, that the weight is just beans. It's just beans, yeah. yeah. It's not like we've mixed up salt, mm. the sand and the... Like, so sand. would you say this is like finished or there's still... Almost. Let's do that. Almost. That is, and this is a good quality of beans. We've started filling the sack. As you can see, these sacks are pretty good. So each sack like this, I think holds about 100 kilos. Something like that. So I'm really excited to see how much we're going to get. 
And here we're continuing to float through. Hey everyone, we have found some shade at the entrance here to our goat house. Yeah. <laughs> it that's is so hot. If you hear the goats making a noise, yeah. that's where we're sitting. They're just having their afternoon nap. So it is, what time is it now? Like one o'clock? Yeah, 1.30. One o'clock. And I think we're probably going to finish here at around four or five. So we're going to end the video here and go home and edit because we want to post it today. And we're going to leave you the surprise of guessing how much we've produced for the next video. Just so, get, drop your comment. Yeah, drop your comment. Um, I, I'm, in, I'm, I'm in kilos. Yeah, I'm in kilos. And we already know in the next video. Yes. So we're going to definitely finish the yellow beans today. We might get started on the red beans, but those were harvested a bit before. So Yeah, maybe it's more for the red beans. Yeah, because they're still not that dry. But at least for the yellow beans that were planted on just about one hectare of land. So... We're thinking about 300, 350. For both, both beans? No, just the yellow. The yellow, yeah, 300. Yeah. I'll go through 300. Yeah, so we're going to head home, guys. Thank you so much for watching and supporting us. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one.